Hello there. Um, <laughs> I had I did this video before, like uh, a few minutes ago, but I didn't like uh, the quality, so I changed some settings. To me, it's a little frame rate issues because I'm recording. If anyone has any recommendations on settings, that'd be really helpful to put in the comments. But let's get to work. Um, so the reason why I'm making this video is for my donator privileges. I have own blocks. Uh, whoops. I have own blocks and lock it on my donator privileges. Uh, I just I'm gonna explain this in the video instead of typing it out every time someone donates. So lock it protects doors, chests dispensers, furnaces, and I believe that's it. If there's one more, correct me if you will, but I'm not sure. So, <coughs> what's neat about Lockit is just type in private and you can put caps or whatever, it doesn't matter. Hellhound will pop up or your username and only the admin, me, and you can open and close the store. Really, uh, let's close that. Cool. Th uh, another cool thing is when you have a double door. Uh, whoops. When you have a double door, it opens them both. I just hit one. No redstone. And then it opens up iron doors with your hand. And you can do that with a single iron door also. Now for the chest, um, the places where you can put the sign, left, right, behind it or in front of it. Uh, I didn't put the block sign because I'm just going to use it as space. You do the same thing with the doors. Type in private. And then attaches on. Only me and or only you per se and the admin can open this. No one else can. <coughs> so I believe you can add more users but I'm going to make it so that only you can open it. No one else can't add users just because we need donations for this to get the server running. Uh, restarting in 30 minutes. Huh. I never actually saw that message. That's weird. Whoa. Huh. It's jumping down. Alright. Uh, sorry. Anyways, we have donations. Tier 1, 2, and 3. But I'm going to change the levels up and uh, the amount of money for each one. But basically, um, let me turn it to day. Sorry. <laughs> the second part before the server restarts um, is own blocks. Type in slash ob. Own blocks is activated, meaning every single block you place, no matter where it is, uh, in the city you can't build. And this is supposed to, um, before I continue, it's supposed to replace plots to make my job easier. Um, <laughs> what happens is you place a block, no one can break it, it's protected pretty much every single block you place. Now, the rules with this is if you're outside of the city, well, of course, and you build and you grief with it, I can tell every block that you place. So please don't grief someone's house by putting your uh, blocks inside a non-donator's plot to lock them out or anything, because then you will probably get banned or jailed, or your donator's privileges taken away. Please don't abuse them. Type in slash OB, I just had to say that, just so no one can say, I didn't know. Type in slash OB, and now it's deactivated, so these blocks that I'm placing now, anyone can break if I was outside of my protection zone. Um, also, the reason why I haven't been really making videos is um, I got new Camtasia, a uh, new recording software, and I've been doing a lot of stuff like uh, building a new city, as you can see parts of it right now. I'll make a separate video about the city when I'm done with it, because it's not quite finished. And then I'll uh, explain everything. I'll explain other stuff, such as PvP being turned on on Tuesday, and all about the factions and stuff in my next video. <coughs> um, yeah, this was a hellhound. Peace.